there are a number of myths uh, about high blood pressure, some of which can lead to uh, complications related to or, uh, or side effects uh, that I think are important to bring out. Uh, first, a lot of people think they are, are convinced that they have symptoms when they have high blood pressure. And clearly when blood pressure is very, very high, I suspect that that, that might be true. Um, I've heard it from enough patients. but to the extent that patients only take their high blood pressure medications when they're having symptoms. And we know that uh, the vast majority of individuals and individuals with high blood pressure, the vast majority of the time, they are not feeling their elevated blood pressure. So you need to take your medicine as prescribed regularly, whether you're having symptoms related to it or not. I think another myth uh, is that um, you just treat high blood pressure for a period of time like you might treat an infection with an antibiotic and then you can stop the medication. In fact, when we initiate treatment for high blood pressure, unless you make significant other changes, such as lose a significant amount of weight, make major lifestyle changes, um, that blood pressure is lowered because of the medication while the medication is in somebody's system. When they stop the medication, their blood pressure will drift back up to where it was before treatment was started. So, you need to continue to refill your prescription and take it as prescribed. Uh, I think, uh, finally, uh, there is a misconception or, or a perception that somehow being on one medication for high blood pressure is healthier or better or means you have less severe blood pressure um, uh, problems than somebody who might be on two or three. Uh, when I tell a patient I'm going to start you uh, right off the bat on two medications or perhaps add a third one uh, at some point, many register alarm, and I think it's important for patients to know that that is the, the recommended way that we are approaching hypertension now, is using two or three drugs that have complementary actions and side effects at lower doses, which can avoid the side effects from pushing a single drug to a very high dose that may cause side effects. So it's both more effective um, as well as uh, fewer side effects, so that should be looked at as a good thing.